Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Matt sent me notes and Steve, check out this story. It's about something that is confusing in a lot of ways. Uh, the question is, can you tape record or record a phone conversation that you are involved in? Okay. So most people recognize that I give artists to tap your phone, you know, like they did in the movies in the 70s, where I, I, I sneak into your backyard and I find your phone line and I splice into it and hook in a recording device and, and I'm recording every phone conversation taking place on that phone line. Uh, that would probably be wrong, right? <laughs> well, modern technology means that going through all those steps isn't necessary. But the question is, if you call somebody and you're just talking to them, can you record that conversation without telling them? Can they record it without telling you? And so it depends on what state you're in. Some states say as long as you are a party to the conversation, you can record it. And some states say, well, you can only record it if you get the consent of the other person. Because obviously you consent, so you need the other side's consent. So now we have an interesting case out of Florida. And this I agree with, but it's interesting the way it worked out. Phone conversations with law enforcement can be recorded without their consent, and that's a court decision that came down. It's the latest to provide new mechanisms for civilian oversight of law enforcement. This involves a citizen who accuses the Citrus County Sheriff's Office of misconduct. So Vivian Serrett wrote this for the Orlando Weekly, orlandoweekly.com. Florida Appeals Court has effectively opened a loophole in the state's law against recording telephone conversations without the permission of both sides of the call, ruling that law enforcement officers in the course of their official duties can be recorded secretly because they have no expectation of privacy. They're working. That's, that's their job. So the court's decision involving a citizen who accused the Citrus County Sheriff's Office of Misconduct is the latest to provide new mechanisms for civilian oversight of law enforcement even as others were curtailed in recent days by the governor and the legislature. Now, this is the court acting. In its ruling last week, the 5th District Court of Appeals in Daytona Beach threw out five felony wiretapping convictions against a 63-year-old man from Floral City. Uh, He had been engaged in a lengthy dispute over access to his property with the Citrus County Sheriff's Office as far back as 2018. The situation escalated after wildlife officers accompanied by armed deputies, sprayed herbicides in a canal off the Withlacoochee River along his property in West Central Florida. The sheriff jumped on the airboat, trespassed onto my property, and pointed the weapons at me as they ripped up and stole my no trespassing signs, he said in an interview. He called the court's decision groundbreaking. I think a lot of people are going to be citing my case in the future. The sheriff's deputies said that He was the one who aimed something at the officials, spraying the herbicides. The people out there doing the spraying for the herbicides of the county, they were in fear that this guy was going to do something, maybe try to shoot them or kill them, said a deputy testifying the case. He said that uh, the man had sovereign citizen ideologies. However, the man disputes that, and he said, the only time I ever used the word sovereign was to claim my private property is not state sovereignty land. In January of 21, he called 911 to report what he believed was a trespassing incident by the sheriff and said he wanted to have the call recorded for a complaint against the sheriff. That same day, a sergeant called him back and the man recorded a three-minute conversation but did not inform the officer he's recording the call. He then emailed his recording of the call to the sheriff's office records department and requested an internal investigation. A month later, they accused him of five counts of illegal wiretapping for recording the conversation with a sergeant and four other calls with sheriff's employees. The appeals court just overturned that trial court's decision and ordered the judge to dismiss the charges. So in other words, don't retry him. No, throw the charges out. Under these circumstances, the court said, It cannot be said that any of the deputies exhibited a reasonable expectation of privacy that society is willing to recognize. The sheriff's office declined to make anybody available to discuss the matter. It wasn't clear whether the court's decision affects secretly recording the telephone conversations of other government employees in Florida who are conducting official business. It said the man's recording was allowed because there was no dispute 
that all conversations concerning matters of public business occurred while the deputies were on duty and involves phones utilized for work purposes. So the man says this really broadens up the public's ability to hold police officers accountable for their actions. They have no expectation of privacy when they're conducting official business. It doesn't matter where they're at. So you have to understand there's more to the story of that, but I'm going to stop there. Because the expectation of privacy thing is something that gets talked about when courts are discussing different issues involving privacy. But many states have got statutes, actual laws on the books, where it says you're not allowed to do this, wiretapping, and describe wiretapping. And, of course, it's an old term now because simply recording a conversation is not what you imagine you think of wiretapping in the old days. But that's what they're talking about, recording a phone call. And um, if the law says, you know, certain things, generally speaking, you go off what the law says facially, what it, what it appears to say when you simply look at it. But courts can interpret laws and occasionally will interpret things into laws or out of laws that just make a lot of sense. And sometimes they do that because it makes sense to the court. And sometimes they do that because they go, hey, look, the legislature, when they're passing this law, what were they trying to do? What were they trying to do? And, and the question is, were they trying to make it so that people couldn't record a phone call with a law enforcement officer? And it's like, uh, you wonder about that. Is that really what they're doing with that? So the court appears to be saying, no, no. It makes more sense between private individuals or between you and a company or vice versa, maybe. But law enforcement, you know, and so especially when they're doing their jobs, they're on the job, you know, and the old joke is that, you know, you're paying their salary. So can't you record them speaking to you on the phone? And so I had a lot of questions about this, and I usually walk around it rather than stop and pick it up and answer it. (laughs) Because there is so much dispute in this area. Because I've had people ask, the most common question I get asked on this topic is, Steve, if I'm in a single consent state, which means I can record my own phone call regardless of who's on the phone with me, and I call somebody in a dual consent state, and don't tell them, am I breaking the law? And I've seen all kinds of case law going every which way on that. And so I don't even know that it'd be fair to even attempt to address that with any degree of certainty and imply that there's any degree of certainty in the answer. Because I've heard of cases where somebody did that and got in trouble. And I've heard of cases where somebody did that and didn't get in trouble. But here, the question is, the man calls the police and simply records a three-minute phone call, although they claim there are other phone calls, but I'm not sure about that. But he calls the police, and he speaks to somebody at the police. Then he takes the recording and hands it to the police and goes, I want you to investigate that. And they prosecute him. And that's where it really falls apart for me. Because it's one thing if I record something, and then to embarrass them, I I give it to the news, for instance. Let's suppose instead of giving it to the police for an investigation, he gave it to a news station. And so look what the police said on the phone to me. That, that would appear to be quite different than what he did. What he did was he recorded the conversation and handed it to the police. And goes, I think this is an inappropriate thing that I was told or said to me by this police officer. Investigate that. And they prosecute him. And that's what always really gets me. And I'm not sure there's a name for that. There really ought to be. The Germans probably have one. But <laughs> where somebody goes to get help. Or they go and they seek help, and the people they seek the help from turn on them, despite the fact they've got a duty to help you. And here it's the police. He goes to the police because I want an investigation here. And instead they come after him. Because instead of giving it to the news, you know, he, he, he could have turned it over to an attorney and said, what can we do here? Can, can we sue somebody? You know? And so what he did was the least offensive thing, I think, as far as the police are concerned, except, of course that he was potentially exposing one of them. And sometimes they don't like that. But the interesting thing now is that it appears in Florida, you are free to wiretap the police so long as you are calling them or they're calling you and you are involved in the conversation, you can record that conversation and the Florida wiretapping law does not apply to you. Now, of course, they could take this to Florida Supreme Court. That could change things. 
But this is the state of the law right now from the OrlandoWeekly.com. Vivian Serrett wrote that. Matt Senate, thanks a lot. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. My goal is no longer to get more done, but rather to have less to do.